there, this is Jen and thanks for stopping by and joining me today. Today I will be creating a design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop and I am going to be using this super cute stamp set from the Rabbit Hole Designs called Owl Write. I am creating one card today using the stamp set and then uh, the last Tuesday of the month I will have another card or cards um, using the stamp set as well. Um, again, this is for my design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, Jamie is open for business and is shipping items and in fact has a lot of wonderful new items in the shop right now. So I go ahead and encourage you to check that out. Um, today um, I am creating a rainbow card. This card went through several different um, ideas. Uh, but I knew I wanted to create a rainbow out of my dies. I don't have a rainbow die. And so I am using these waffle flower nesting oval dies. So I've taken the biggest die that I have for the ovals. And then I skipped a size down and used the next size. And so what I'm doing is pushing them so that the bottoms match. Or not match, but that they are touching each other in order to create sort of that rainbow at the top, I will end up cutting these. Um, and so for the next layer, I'll go ahead and take the smaller die that I used with the green paper and then I'll skip a size down and then grab the next die size down and do the same thing and run that through my die cut machine. And I'll keep on doing that going down in size until I have my four colors cut out. So I'm using green, yellow, blue, and purple. And then once I have all of my pieces cut out, um, I wasn't really sure. Originally, I wanted the rainbow to go across the card um, in this manner, kind of putting the dies um, horizontally. And then I didn't like that. I tried several different things and um, I will show you what I what end up with, but um, I went ahead and set those aside to think on it. And during that time, I went ahead and stamped up my image using Memento Black Ink. And I am using Memento Black Ink because I will be doing some alcohol marker coloring. I bought these markers during Christmas. They were having a great sale. Um, I don't know. I think it was like 60 or 70 markers for about $30. And so I went ahead and grabbed them. Uh, one of the great things about these markers is that if you are not comfortable with alcohol marker coloring like me, um, it's great because they come in packs of three where the colors are already picked out for you. So for example, on the yellow, there's already a light, a medium, and a dark. You don't really have to, you know, think about what colors to use. You just use them. Um, for me, when I alcohol marker color, I am usually using a light and a dark, and that is all I use, but I'm just kind of proud of myself because on this card, I did go ahead and use all three of the um, colors. So I did use the light range, the medium range, and the dark. And so um, I sped it up a lot because I don't, <laughs> I, I would not be the best person to learn um, alcohol marker coloring from. I just try and outline kind of the shadows and the outside areas just to make it look decent, but um, that's pretty much it. Um, so once I finish coloring up my image, I'm going to go ahead and cut my rainbow. So I'm just putting the image down to see where I want to cut that rainbow to make it an actual rainbow instead of oval. So I'm just going to take my pencil and mark those lines. You'll notice I took the purple one out because at first I didn't think that I was going to use it. Um, I do add it back in later, but here I'm just going to go ahead and cut out these um, rainbow colors. And as I mentioned previously, I had an idea of doing a rainbow like this on the card, and that was about the only idea I had. And so um, I tried several different things. Originally, I was going to use the rainbows like you see them now, um, the thicker portion of the rainbows. I don't end up using the thick portion. I switch over to use the smaller portion or the bottom part that I cut out. Um, and a lot of times when I'm not sure of the layout, I'll go ahead and lay it out and then take a picture with my camera. And I find that super helpful because if I take several different pictures of different layouts, um, it's super helpful in helping me to pick out the one I like the best. 
Um, I went ahead and took some glitter paper from my stash and used a hand punch to make those clouds. Um, you, of course, could cut those out by hand. I did try that, but um, did not work well, well for me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the background for the card. And I am using some Distress Oxide and Squeeze Lemonade along with my blender brush and this cloud stencil that has a four sides on it. This is a Honey Bee stamp um, stencil. And I will have links to the products that I have used in this video below. And then I'm going to take my sheer shimmer spray and shake it up to get that mica moved around in the bottle. And then I'm just going to take the top off and tap little droplets on the card panel. I didn't want the full spray. I just wanted some droplets. So that's why I went ahead and took the top off. Um, so I have my layout down. And to keep it this way so that I don't um, mess it up, I went ahead and grabbed some of the um, Glad Stick and Peel. And the Stick and Peel is going to allow me to keep all of my pieces all in the arrangement that I have them in um, instead of me trying to remember how I have them laid out. Um, since I use my camera for recording when I need to take a picture of the card, I have to actually stop recording and then take a picture. Um, so another useful way to do that if you don't have stick and, the um, stick and peel. Is that what it's called? Press and seal. Stick and peel. Was I saying stick? Oh, whatever. It's called press and seal. Um, but another way to, to do that is to go ahead and um, use your camera, take a picture, and then... Uh, when you put the strips back down is to put them down in the order that you have the in them in the picture. Um, I just really liked how I had the layout and I knew that I probably wouldn't get it exactly um, how I wanted it back on the card. And so using the press and seal was super helpful for that. So all I did was um, stick it down to pick up my pieces, added my um, adhesive. And when I added my adhesive, I just used little dots of adhesive. I didn't run the adhesive over it um, as far as like a tape runner would. I just put little dots all over and then um, once I had that done, I went ahead and took the press and seal and flipped that over, pressed it onto my card panel and to let it set, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my acrylic blocks and set those down on top to let the glue dry. And then to add a little a more detail to the stamped images, I'm going to go ahead and take my black jelly roll. And I'm really basically just um, outlining the, or going back over the eyes and the nose and the mouth, uh, just to bring out that, uh, those details a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my white pen, and this one I'm using is new to me. It's a Pentel Milky Pop and just adding some highlights. And then I'll also use that around the whites of the eyes uh, because when I was doing my alcohol marker coloring, I got a little bit of the color inside the whites of the eyes. And so that white pen really helps to cover that up. Um, I'll go ahead and add my panel to a yellow card base. And then for the owls, I will take some uh, foam strips and go ahead and I will pop that up. Um, and adhere that to the card. The sentiments I'm using for this stamp set is the one from the... <laughs> the sentiment that I am using for this card is from the stamp set and it's called From All of Us. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I say that right? From All of Us. Yes, that is right. Um, and at the top, I used a die cut from Pink Fresh Studio, and it says congrats. So the card says congrats from Owl of Us. Um, I thought it could be a baby card or really any congrats card. It doesn't necessarily have to be a baby, but I thought it would be a cute baby card. Um, and added some unicorn stickles. And that will complete this card. I really actually like how it turned out. I really love the colors of the owls. I think they're super pretty. Um, I popped up a screen a screen. I pop. Seriously, I am okay. Um, I popped up a discount code on the screen um, that you can use in Jamie's shop. And she is open for business and shipping items. She just received the Trinity Stamps new release. And she does have that new blender brush by Pink and Main in stock 
as of the recording of this voiceover. So if you're interested in that or have been waiting for that to come back out, she has it. Um, other than that, um, if you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate you spending some time with me and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.